The smoke I saw was at the top of these ruins. And Horrid's mark said he'd followed a Thunderjaw here. Why would it attack Dawn's grasp then come to this place? Hey everyone, and welcome to the very next part of this Horizon Call of the Mountain gameplay. This is part five, if I'm not mistaken, of our video series, and I believe there will be a total of maybe nine parts, if I'm correct. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Um, I was told that this uh, this game is about a nine-hour game, and we are roughly around four hours in. Everything the old ones built is just crumbling to nothing. So, let me catch you up to speed to where we are now. Like we have fought many things. We have gotten many gadgets. Uh, we still have yet to receive some of the more interesting Get gadgets other than uh, pickaxe, which is what something we're using constantly. Climbing, we're using uh, different types of arrows such as flaming arrows and electric arrows. Um, but machines all over the moon. We, dead. we are still looking they still give me the creeps. We are still looking for our brother Orid and uh, climbing to the very top of this mountain, which is which is um, directions based off of what beacon. our brother told us to do. He said to follow the, um, I forgot the name of the, the robot, the big machine, but it's suspension. It's a apparently, not apparently, it is the uh, T-Rex based robot. And it's said to follow the robot to the top of the mountain. Or chase the robot to the top of the mountain. And uh, this is what we're doing. So as you can see, there are a lot of... There was some sort of major battle that Nothing. happened here many, Nothing many years ago. As you can tell from all the okay, rusted materials. I'm doing my best to find nice. all of the warning beacons, as I love to do. I found one. But we're also finding new things sure in this that. area. Downside new uh, things is that I new boxes to search through. Out. I'm still looking, uh, making so sure that I don't miss any of those warning beacons because, ooh, these helmets look like the Doom helmets. Doom guy. Helmets? That's the back of it. That's the front right there. Very rusted. Very rusty. Sort of, even though the helmet wouldn't be Grab made of metal, guitar. would it? It would be plastic in a I sense, like a man. very hard plastic, so rust doesn't necessarily affect it. Ooh, what's this? This will be useful for crafting terror arrows. Ooh, oh. echo shells. So in Horizon Zero Dawn, <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, the echo shells are used to tear off um, armor plates off of oh, machines. I was a soldier. I only faced handfuls of machines. Remember the numbers that attacked this place. Machines really are attacking settlements now. Then the Sundom will go the way of the old ones. Yeah. So they go through uh, in, this, in the actual storyline in Horizon Forbidden Sweet. West and also in Zero Dawn. They uh, they explain more what happened. Um, what happened with the uh, the ancient ones? Essentially, us. What happened to us with the uh, machines? And the machine been uprising. Quite a battle here centuries ago. Hard to imagine anyone lasting long against all those ancient machines. And the uh, struggle that they had to try to overcome the ancient machines and ultimately losing. Um, but in Forbidden West, they go further into detail as to what actually happened. Uh, I'm not going to mention anything because it would be major spoilers for you guys. But, essentially, they, uh, how can I say it without spoiling anything? Mm. Um, it involved AI, which is something that, um, we, that is in the news a lot with, uh, right now. Damn, that must be the Thunderjaw Orid was following. Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw is the name of the actual robot, the machine, that looks like a T-Rex. So the Thunderjaw is what we're going to try to avoid 
being attacked that, by. That was but um, yes. Itself. So it has to do with AI. Looks like these ruins were fortified once. And um, they didn't keep the machines out then. And they won't keep me out now. Um, so artificial intelligence and machines, obviously. Uh, they did develop a way to be able to My make machine make a, a large super machine that makes machines. Uh, it, it, it creates machines out of, uh, it almost seems like nanobytes. It's like okay. this weird future, shell. weird futuristic okay. technology that somehow just m seems like to make machines out of nothing. But, uh, yeah, they did that and, uh, it got out of hand. It made so many machines that it actually, it ultimately, um, <clears throat> there we go. ultimately over... <laughs> Overran the humans, and uh, and yeah, yeah, it sounds like something out of the Matrix, right? Like essentially that happened in the Matrix too. <clears throat> and uh, history seems to repeat itself, at least when it comes to fiction. Yes, we are slowly climbing. This person must have the most diesel forearms and leg muscles. In history, because he does a lot of climbing. Either that, or he is very lightweight. You know, when you normally play a video game like Horizon Zero Dawn or Forbidden West and you see a Thunderjaw, you know it's going to be a menacing threat. But when it comes to VR, I just, I feel like I know for a fact that I'm going to eventually somehow overcome it. And uh, it's not going to be a dangerous threat. It's just going to be a, um, a, uh... They're going to lay out the options in front of me, and all I have to do is just make sure to do the steps correctly, and I overcome the challenge. So there, it's not even threatening to me at all. I look at it like a giant robot machine thing, and I'm just like, all right, well, that is not going to be difficult for me to overcome. And I guess this just has to do with VR in general and the limitations on what you can and can't do. So, for instance, if you're playing this game out of VR, normally with a controller, you have you have the options of making your character be able to, like, I don't know, roll out of the way or jump out of the way of attacks and dive and do all sorts of things to be able to avoid getting hit while then following that up by throwing grenades and doing all sorts of attacks to be able to defeat a very difficult enemy. But in VR, you're very limited to what you can actually do to you're limited to what you can actually make the user do and as a result you can't have them for instance you can't have them roll out of the way you can't have them jump out of the way you can't have them do any of those type of things to avoid attacks the only thing you can do is have them shift a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right to avoid an attack and uh, it limits you Six. It limits you on how you can actually do combat in VR. Uh, I hope the more... I hope that with time, VR games uh, do get more intuitive. That developers are actually able to figure out new and interesting ways to do combat and make it more interactable. This game does try new things with combat. Instead of just shooting a bow, you can actually interact with objects and things to be able to take down enemies. That, that to me seems kind of interesting. What, what am I supposed to do with these things? 
They are glowing, so I'm supposed to interact with them. I just don't see how, so arrows don't seem to be working. Maybe there's something around here that I have to use. Ballista mm. bolts. These things pack a punch. Maybe it's somewhere around here. The one thing that I do worry about when I play this game is that there are a lot of... Uh, Take that. Oh. I guess my inventory is full. There, there's only a certain amount of these that you can carry, and it looks like... Oh, I caught it. I caught it again. <laughs> oh, dropped it. It's gone now. It's gone forever. There's only a certain amount that you can carry, so you can have 12 um, crafted. And then you can have, I think it's like maybe six more in inventory waiting to be crafted. So right now I'm using up two. Just just to test to see if I can carry more. And see what happens when I try picking it up. I'll take that blaze. And oh. It disappeared forever. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, before I drop this one, I'm gonna place it back here. The other one seems to be gone forever. So, craft two that I just used. That's it. That's right. And now I should be able to carry two more. One, ta da, and the other one's gone into the abyss. The cold, dark abyss of level design. All right. Let's move forward. So, what, would I, what was I saying? Yes. You can climb up something, but I don't think you could ever climb back down that thing. Like, for instance, let's say you climbed up and you realize, oh, I forgot a thing down there. You are screwed. That's it. You passed it. You can't go back. Or at least I don't think it could go back. In order to get that thing that you forgot, you have to play through the scenario. Like there's a list out there. You have to play through the scenario again. New defenses in the middle of old ruins. So the game is introducing new things that I can do. Like, for instance, see this box up there? You can grab it like Spider-Man. Pull it to me. Except it looked like I just pulled the lid. Uh-oh. Where's the rest of it? Oh. I don't... I don't know how to release it. Like, for instance, I just pulled it. It's still on there. I don't know how to let it... Go. Oh, never mind. I guess I figured it out somehow. Where is the... Where'd it go? There is something inside of it. Where did it go? Ah, there we are. Blaze. One. Ta-da. And I should not be able to carry the second one. Watch. I'll let it go and watch what happens. It just drops. Yeah, so that's it. There's a limit to the amount that you can carry. Um, what was I saying? Yes, you can't climb down anything. So once you pass it, that's it. It's gone. You'd have to play through the scenario again in order to get that item. Like for instance, those target things that I'm trying to find, uh, that I shoot at, if you pass it, you have to play through the scenario again to, to get that last one if you missed any. Let's see, how does this thing work? It looks like it's loaded. What if, oh, okay. Turn this first to pull it back. And then... All right. Thought it was going to be me having to load this up. I mean, we could have made that an entire process of me having to load it first and then draw it back and then shoot it. But it doesn't feel... I can't move when I'm here. Oh. I can't move when I'm there. So the moment I get up there, I'm just stuck in that position. That's one thing that kind of bothers me about VR, in a sense. There are limitations like that. They knew that if the player was uh, was to have the freedom to be able to move around, that they may get confused and not know what to do. They would, like me, assume that I have to first place the um, place the spear on top of there, and then after I place the spear, then I have to go to the other side and load it. I mean, and wind it up. And then afterwards, I have to shoot it and go through the entire process. But if they lock you in place, it's like, no, you can't do that. You can't go to the front of it and load it up. It's already loaded. Just 
pull this thing and then pull that and you're done. Hmm. Found it. No, I'm not going to use my fire arrow. It's this one. Ah, put that one down. So one thing I've noticed when I've been uh, going back and looking at the footage is that for me, when I draw my bow, I can see it lining up in front of me like if it were a real bow. That's when I'm holding it vertically. But you guys in the you guys in the um, in the video, you can't see that. So now I'm holding my bow sideways or at an angle, so that way you can actually see what I'm shooting at, and I'm not covering it up. At least that's something I'm trying to do. Fatality. I should put that up on the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I accidentally died. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, there it is. Up that wall, Reyes. Kind of, the voice actor kind of sounds like Nolan North. If you're confused right now, Nolan North played the iconic. Um, what's his face? We followed that Thunderjaw, and now it's following me. Nathan Drake in the Uncharted games. I also played like half a million other voices in other video games. <clears throat> but you would know him best from Uncharted. It does sort of sound like him, but it's not him though. I can tell the differences in his voice. Um, yeah, the thing with the Thunderjaw that doesn't make him a threat is because I don't think the game intentionally inc includes parts of the uh, where you can actually die like and seriously die I think it tries to make it seem like you have to do real Take stealth that, please but it doesn't ever actually penalize you for being caught for instance with the watchers when you the, the parts with the watchers there are parts where it seems like you have to do stealth but if they catch you if the watchers see you they don't they don't do anything other than like try to attack you and you can easily avoid their attacks so I think with the um, T-Rex the uh, I forgot the name of it um, with that T-Rex robot if it does catch you that you can easily avoid You're getting, still searching for me you can easily avoid being, got to get up into the ruins being away from that machine by it Whereas if I were playing Horizon Zero Dawn or Forbidden West, if it did catch me, it would almost certainly be death. Or at least at the start of the game. Later on in the game when you have better armor and health upgrades and stuff like that, you don't die as easily to the um, try Thunderjaw. There we go. Just trying to remember the name. Uh, you don't die as easily to the Thunderjaw or to the, uh, to the other larger enemies. Going back and looking at the uh, at my footage. Ooh, thank you, thank you very much. Yay! 
I got paid today. It's time to pay the rents. Time to pay the rents. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, going back to the footage and looking at myself. I look very black and white. I noticed I wore black and white t-shirt, gray pants with black. I thought I'd actually be inside an ancient flying machine. Even my watch is, is just white and black. Like everything is just white and black. I don't have any color on me. In all the other videos I had color. And this one is just all black and white. Which is, I guess, is easy with a green screen. I don't have any green on me. I don't have to worry about, like, working around that. But, um, yeah. Oh, no. Jaws being a pain in the ass right now. So yeah, you can kind of hear Nathan Drake in the voice actor's voice when he uh, when he says things like, "Oh no, hold on, I can't do the voice," but you you get the idea. Oh, oh there goes that. Was that a helicopter? I think it was, yeah, it had to be a helicopter. There's no way they could have used a plane. Unless it was some sort of like jet plane that could hover or whatever. Dropping me off a wall in a metal bird wasn't enough for you! Okay, no, but no. Alright, you see how how I reacted to the thunder jaw. I should have been afraid. I should have been scared. But oh no, I better be careful. I better avoid getting hit by him because I could die. But notice how I just walked underneath it. I didn't care because it's pre-scripted animations that won't, uh, at least it feels like it won't end up with me dying. So there's no fear. Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> oh. Ah, going back and looking at this, I was trying to figure out how to get down there, and I couldn't figure that out, so I went this direction. But now I see how I'm supposed to get down there through a second playthrough, or maybe later on I have to come. But this wheel, this camp, all this does, built all this stuff. Where are they now? Maybe I have to go back through this later on in the game. So I have to revisit this and then that's how I get down there. There's a tool that you get um, that I'm going to be getting later on. I think in this playthrough or in the next one that I currently don't have. That's what I needed to get past that I've part. Still got it. Six out of 11. Doing pretty well. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. All right. Blue box, what's inside here? And yes. Can't pick up the fire oh, ones with shell. But useful for making terror arrows. I can take the echo shells. Let me know what you guys think. Um another wheel. Ooh. To think. One time this place was everyday life for the old ones. Until the machines came. This kind of looks like a uh, very primitive bat that hasn't been rounded off on the sides. You would assume that a bat is supposed to be flat on the side because you're always hitting it. But uh, I guess rounding it off would make more sense. Hmm. I don't know if you guys ever played Horizon Zero Dawn or Forbidden West, but I do have a lot of gameplay footage on my channel um, that you can find in playlists. If you look for playlists, Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon Forbidden West, and you'll find many, many hours of, of footage. Alright. Now to figure out how this thing works. There doesn't appear to be like a little uh, mechanism like the other one did. So maybe I take the pole and slide it through the side like this. Um, 
It doesn't seem to... My arm seems to just kind of... What's going on here? Why is my arm like drooping like this? It's not that heavy of a pull. It doesn't seem to be letting me put it through the side like this. This is how I assume it's supposed to go. Through that hole, and then it locks in place, but it doesn't seem to do that. Huh. It's me just looking at it to see how that works. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Maybe through the side, or maybe it's on the other side? No, that doesn't make sense. How would I possibly grab the thing and slide the other thing in there? Maybe I gotta do something first? How... How does this work? Maybe I'll do it the other way? Maybe this is... I was supposed to grab it through here and slide the other part through. Let's see. Two hands? Nope. Seems to be blocking me. Not lo... Yeah, so you see there's like some sort of invisible thing there not letting me put it through. Maybe on this side? No. That doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. Am I missing something here? No, not there. That doesn't seem to work. I have two metal rods. They're rusted rods and two wooden sticks. Something needs to work here. Let me use the metal rods. The the uh, the bars. What do you call those rebars? They use it in construction. Let's slowly, let's slowly look at this and see where exactly those poles are supposed to go. Maybe here. There's a reason why this wooden thing is broken in that spot. Um, can I put it through here? See, the idea is, is I thought I was supposed to put it through here and lock it in place, but it doesn't seem to let me put it through there, so... I can't seem to lock it somehow. I have to put it somewhere else. At the top. I think it's at the top. It can't be right, is it? Not at the bottom, mm. but somewhere at the top. What to do, what to <laughs> do. I'm doing my best impression of a Japanese punk. Oh. Huh? Closes too fast for me to just slide right under. Let's place that there. My uh, ADD kicked in. <laughs> I gotta. I need to have all my tools right there on the table with me. All right. Let's see. Let's slowly go through this again. Let's slide like we're gonna rotate this thing. And afterwards, I believe I figured it out. Let's try. Let's try placing it up here instead and see what that does. And let it go slowly. That oh, that worked. That was it. That was all I had to do. It was the puzzle was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought I had to place that in a very specific spot. It turns out you just oh, had to. The Thunderjaw is still up there. I could. Go ahead and hit it from down here. But I have this... I have this very weird feeling that if I do that, it's just gonna end up turning around and killing me. Oh well, let's move forward. Time to be the Spider-Man. Ah, alright. I had to really... I had to figure out how to use these gadgets correctly. Nothing came with it. See, I can pull the items, but the hook stays attached to it. I don't know how. To, I don't. Can't figure out how to um, release it and still hold on to the hook. This will be useful for crafting terror arrows. Ah, and can't get the other item. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm full on it anyway.
I almost didn't see that target. I'm trying to look out and see if there's another one somewhere around here. Doesn't look like there is. So, being that there's nothing else for me to do, it's time to climb on out of here. And sneak on past this thunder. Look at the amount of rust on this machine. Could you imagine how old this thing is? starting to get used to all the climbing segments. It doesn't seem all that bad for me. I think I didn't enjoy doing the climbing portions when I was standing in the previous gameplay footage where you saw me standing, but now that I'm sitting it's actually a lot more comfortable. Not as uh, dizzy as it was before doesn't seem all that bad and I also have a way to be able to orient myself so I know which direction is forward for uh, camera purposes obviously if you're not recording yourself it wouldn't make that much of a difference thunder jaw makes so much noise This thing? Ooh. Echo shell. Nice. Let's craft some more while we're here. That's it. Alright. Wait, I only have three more? I thought I picked up a whole bunch of these things. Oh. Well, seems like there's nothing to shoot. Alright, now that we're here, I just realized right now I could fast travel anytime I want and possibly fast travel back to here. I didn't realize that before. Now I do. That thunder judge doesn't shut up. Alright, looks like the only thing I can do is just slide down this rope. And just like that, <laughs> just like that, the thunder jaw is quiet. Uh, okay. So, guys, let me know what you think. Are you enjoying these uh, Horizon uh, Call of the Mountain gameplay footage videos? What do you think of this very old and rusty-looking? Um, I don't even know what you would call this. Base, maybe? Looks like a base. I'll tell you what, the developers do a really good job of creating old ruins of concrete and metal and all sorts of materials. You know that they've done plenty of research on this. I wish I could go and just buy art books and behind the scenes uh, um, Material on just the development of this game and also the other Horizon games. I would pay maybe it's in total like $200 for like a big book like that. What am I? Ah, uh, okay. I am the Batman. Oh. The other one just fell. Uh -oh. Is that supposed to happen? Oh. I guess that wasn't supposed to happen. Did you guys see that? I shot one and the other one just fell. I think I was supposed to shoot them both. It didn't give me a chance to shoot the second one. Well, let's try that again. I am the Batman! Oh. Please bear. Oh. 
Thunderjaw. Ah. <laughs> I took down a Thunderjaw. So that what was supposed to happen. Lord, I wish you could have seen that. Ah, I was supposed to do that. The first time I shot one and the other one just kind of got covered up and I couldn't shoot it, so... While we're here, okay. let's craft some more arrows. That's right. Something like that. I now have a few more fire arrows. Alright, so let's progress, let's move forward. Now that we have destroyed the Thunderjaw and it will never come back. You can quote me on that. It's not going to come back. We're never going to have to fight it again. Huh. What's this? It looks like... Like, um... I guess they're supposed to go inside the tanks. Those are like... Giant, uh... Missiles or bullets. I don't know what you would call that. Ooh. Please. Ah, thank you. I wonder if this game, if the uh, the VR adjusts for for height. So I am, thank you. I am six feet tall, but I'm oh, currently. They could climb inside them, control them. What would that world have been like? I am currently sitting down, so maybe. At my seated height, what's this? Little chimes left by the old ones. Ooh, it's a it's a clink clink. Um, in my seated position, I'm roughly maybe five, six. Armor's nice. ready. Ta da! That'll help. Hey, I got all four of them. Um, so in my seated position, I'm roughly around. Put that one down. Five, six, maybe? So when I set up the VR, every single time you go to use the PlayStation VR and you put it on, it sets up, it calibrates it, essentially, to your height. So I wonder if it tells the game your height and it adjusts everything according to your height. So if you're a shorter person, you're actually going to be shorter to the, you're going to be closer to the ground. That's it. It seems that way. That's it. Ah, thank you. One more tier. How do I only have six? I feel like I keep picking them up, but I still only have six of them. That's weird. Have, I've not been using them either. Oh well. Time to move forward. Remember, no. Oh, wrong item. Meant to pick the second one. Let's pick the second one on this one. Aha! Uh -huh. I feel like I feel like a Tomb Raider. There we go. All right, and off it goes. Yeah, we don't need those things anymore. Another target down. If the ancient machines climbed up that way. I should be able to. So, going back and seeing me um, looking at the footage. Yeah, and I think I finally figured out how I'm supposed to use the. Uh, That'll make some fire arrows. Oh, guess I can't carry any more of those. I think I finally figured out how to use that claw thing um, when you're pulling an item towards you. I've never seen machines swarm like that. And maybe that's what they did at Dog's Grasp. Um, so when you pull an item towards you, I think you're supposed to use your other hand to remove the item off the claw. So that way you don't have to drop the claw and then select it again to use it again. Um, you just remove the item off the claw with your other hand and then you can use it again. That's what I think. So the next time I play this, uh, I'm going to try and test that out to see if that works. But let's 
to climb across this very rusted material here. And these conveniently conveniently placed vines. Where am I supposed to get from here? This way? Yes. I can tell by all the markings. So a bit of advice a bit of advice for anyone who is going to be streaming VR. One of the few settings that you want to first do is get rid of any sort of, uh, I think it's called vi vignettes, or, um, oh, I missed. And missed again. Oh, no, I got it. Got it in the second one. So I got one more to go. Um, remove, um, it's kind of like uh, when you turn your head, it's kind of like a telescoping sort of effect, which works fine when you're playing it by yourself, but if you're capturing it for other people to view it kind of is a bit annoying to see that something i realized when i was playing resident evil 8 village it was on by default and a lot of my footage had it but uh eventually i figured out how to turn it off in this game i turned it off right away so you guys don't have to see that it looks a bit more natural for you guys uh, that's on by default so that way people don't get motion sick for the people that are more sensitive to VR It helps avoiding motion sickness for me. It's fine. I don't need it um, As you can see, I don't have a single problem with it. I think what tires me out is the uh, The constant climbing having to use my arms so playing this for more than an hour and always moving your arms, wailing left and right like that, climbing on things. Kind of tires me out after a while. Oh, almost grabbed that bird. You saw that bird? It was like three frames a second. <laughs> you can't, by the way, you can't shoot the birds. I mean, you're not able to shoot the birds. I've tried it and it doesn't hit. It doesn't make any sort of contact with them. Oh, that's fine. I don't know what I would possibly do with a dead bird. Grab onto here and grab that. And up this way. And up that way. I think we're almost at the top. Where am I supposed to go from here? It. Huh? Okay. Where am I? Ah, there it is. Alright. Let's be the Batman. So weird. Why would there just be a ladder so high up at the edge of this thing? Like, where is that ladder supposed to lead to? I often wonder about level design and if the. And if uh, a lot of the things that you see, if it's practical. Like, if it makes any sort of sense having those things there. Ooh. I wonder. Oh. Okay. There's a, an invisible ghost train passing by. Sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Smash it all. Whoa. Oh. There they are. Here we go. Smash it all. Yes. 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 <laughs> Alright. I've had my fill. Oh, it's a bigger one. Can I smash anything else? Is there anything Smokes over here I can smash? Ooh, some so closer. much stuff here. I wonder why they're placing all of this. This will make a terror. All of these things here, like this. Let's search the rest of this stuff before we start crafting anything. More fires. So much fire. I bet there's more fire in here too. No. Should be right below that smoke. Alright. Echo shells. Let's see how many we got now. Good. We now have 11. Alright. So far, so good. I don't see any of the beacons to shoot, so we are going to move on up. 
to the next portion. Portion. All right, let's climb. Where there will be absolutely nothing up here that we will have to do. It's just, it's just one large open area with absolutely no. Shots out of that thing. I was trying my best to hit the weak spots, but uh, it's just lining it up is really, really difficult. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully, we get more than just two hits. Oh, all those things are gonna hit me. It does a lot of damage, though. So maybe I don't have to specifically hit a weak spot, although it would make the fight a lot faster. I wish there were I wish there were, were a way to distract. Oh wait, hold on. It's too late now, but I could have used the shock arrows to stun it and then go up on there. I could have gotten like maybe five or six hits out of it before it was able to recover. That was a good hit. That's right, suck on that. The fire didn't seem to that hurt it. Did it hurt? Didn't seem to light on fire. Let me use some of the other. Finish this. This is so nice. Oh, 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 oh. Eat an apple? Ouch! Fine then. We'll just do this instead. Doesn't seem like it's close enough. It's close enough. Come on, come to me. Walk a little closer. It's off balance! Did that actually hurt it? I don't see it doesn't seem like its life is going down. Try the tear arrows. So Thunder Jaw has multiple weak spots. One of them. You can remove all of the uh, the cannons and things that it uses, the attacks that it uses against you. So those cannons on the right side, its right side, you can remove. There are also cannons on the top, and two cannons on the side. You see those blue, blue bullets that are shooting? You can remove those as well. And it also has an opening on the on the left and the right side that exposes a uh, heart that you can remove as well and attack. You see that later on. I managed to remove one of them. That'll hurt if I think that just removed it right there. Maybe and it opened it up. I'm trying to remove the cannon on the side. Got back. Lining up the shots is a bit difficult, especially when it moves a lot. So you can see. It doesn't seem to stay still for too long. Come on, Rex. I have a very limited amount of these these tear arrows. There we go. I just exposed. I think I just exposed the heart. Oh, 
Oh, oh that completely missed. This is my last shot on this. I need to make it count. And there we go. I hit it, but it didn't remove it. Try to get at least two or three good shots in before it gets destroyed. Faster! Oh my god, that missed. Come on, one more good shot. I hope you didn't need that big. Two. Oh, that's one good ball. There we go. That's two. One more, one more. One more shot. That's what I like. And that's it. Okay. Very limited on what I can do. I'll just place it now. Oh, it's now using a laser beam attack. I'll keep it going. You got me. Oh, laser beams. Doesn't like that fight. I think I've used just about every single attack that I have available. So now, all I have are regular arrows and maybe some fire arrows left. I didn't use the electric ones. And the fire didn't seem to last very long, but it was on fire. I don't know how much damage it actually did. I love... I just find it funny. Um, you down. Just stopping in the middle of a fight to eat an apple. Uh, then again, if this were one of the normal Horizon games, see, look at the heart right here. See what I'm talking about? I exposed the heart somewhere in the middle of the fight. And now I can shoot it. There are also canisters underneath it. If you manage to expose that, you can hit it with it. An electric arrow. You can, Got it. you can hit it with an electric arrow and uh, stun it. I'm trying to remove parts, but it doesn't seem to be working. I put so many arrows in this way. That's also another weak spot right there. It has a lot of weak spots. But like I said, trying to line up the shots is one thing. Get that apple. So far this fight is pretty easy. I wonder if this game is gonna have like a uh, a boss rush mode. There's the heart. I think I destroyed the heart. Almost, it's almost dead. As much as I'm trying to make going through all this, going through all this effort to remove parts, I don't think it's even worth it at this point. I should just try to end it. Took off, finally took the cannon off on the back. Still one more cannon left on the back. See if I can hit that.
finally defeated the Thunder Jaw. I need that. All right then. That. Take that. Oh, conveniently, That's another back. apple showed up. I think I'm at full health now. Ta da! 11 out of 11. I am a champion. That fight went pretty well. In this video I just realized is over 52 minutes long so far so I think we're going to end it soon and uh, and then you guys can watch the next parts after this fight but first let's make sure that we grab everything we can here we don't need another apple we're full so we're just going to toss that off the cliff for uh, someone else to get survey the area. Maybe there's something we can rip off the Thunderjaw and take with us. Or maybe not. Maybe there's nothing here because it doesn't look like there's anything glowing that I can take. To clean, I'll see the blue canisters. This is the clean. bottom part of the, the Thunderjaw. Thunder you can shoot those with shock not, arrows no, and stun it. Another thing that was built here recently. Doesn't seem like there's anything left to do here, so we're going to just grab here? these this arrows. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And now we can move on. I can't craft anymore. Oh, I used up like all of my arrows. One step closer. Right there. That's it. Eight fire arrows. So, oh, I can carry eight additional. So it's 12 plus the eight. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's more. So I hit the 12 limits. So maybe. Or it's messages. Followed them, mother's tears. I. That means I had four. Maybe it's Could twelve. You have been less cryptic for once in your life, Orid. Not a more than this. I better see what else I can find. So maybe it's uh, I can have twelve crafted plus twelve sitting, waiting to be crafted. So in total, it's like twenty-four. I think that's how it works. Ah, elevator. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you're enjoying my play-by-play -play commentary here. This better take me up to some answers, not an ambush. Anyone up there? Is this mysterious machine? I wonder what it can possibly out. be. It's a fast travel location. And it doesn't appear as though there's anything else up here. So, quickly survey the area. And. Get caught on a piece of log. Let's interact with this thing. See what it does. Around wanted me to find answers. Maybe this is answers. Or it mustn't have seen it or understood it. Maybe Riddell can explain this device. I should head back to Don's grasp now. Well, that's it. We came all the way up here to take a part, take a piece off of this machine, this con contraption. And now we have come to the conclusion of this video, roughly one hour in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at that rusted satellite. I am now going to bid you farewell. I will see you in part 
This yeah, is part five, part so I'm going to see you in part, so hold on one sec, part six. six, there we go, as a reminder right. to Episode what part of the video we're six. up to. We're all going to be up to part six Stay in the tuned. next video, so take care, yeah. thank you for watching, make sure yeah. to check the playlist at the top right of your screen, you should see it right now, have a nice day.